Hey guys, how you all doing? So the CRF2, yes indeed. What sort of about? Well, obviously you know about the CRF1. <laughs> if you don't, uh, you must be new. Welcome to the channel. Um, but yeah, the CRF2 is basically, uh, I was talking to a, an SF mate of mine, and it was along the lines of, um, you know, saving ounces in weight and whatnot, when you're all loaded up with, with gear, with, with, you know, clips and, and just, just everything that you might be carrying then the extra few ounces that you can save uh, could obviously be you know of benefit can be appreciated so the CRF2 is basically it's a CRF1 but with weight shaved off it slight design tweak mainly the weight shaved off it all right so we got a CRF1 here this is the blank for a CRF1 and this is six mil stock and you can see the only weight that's been removed from the uh, handle are the three holes there for the chain ring bolts okay this is the crf2 let me show you this all right now this is the first one this is already gone this is uh this has already landed with its new owner or will have done and i'll show you it now let's bring it in let's get some light so what's on here we go Let's bring it in, it's dusty in here right now. Okay, now, let me see if I can show you the, there you go, the logo there. Can you see the logo? I'll get to that in a sec. But, the thing is that the actual profile itself is identical. Okay, now the blade is around about an inch shorter. This is five mil stock as opposed to the six mil. And it's got a double choil there. Handles, other than that, handles exactly the same. Still got a skull cracker, okay. But the blade is a touch shorter now uh, it's missing the gym pin and this had a full length swedge on it whereas this has got a swedge just to the tip of the actual like i say the profile is the same because we know that the profile on this does what you need it to do you've seen it there on the, the tip strength test on the penetration test with the ballistic armor all that plus you know i've used it in game prep i've used it myself for fire prep uh, camping that kind of thing now another place where this might be more suitable over this is in a survival situation um, basically when it comes down to batoning because again this has the full length swedge on it whereas this has a flat spine now you can strike your fire steel off the gym pin not a problem at all I've done it myself but this has a flat spine for that as well okay so you can see they're pretty much identical but this is about three and a half ounces lighter not a huge amount in the grand scheme of things but it, it all adds up okay so that's that so not better not worse but different it serves a slightly different purpose and if saving weight is your thing i mean you know there are there are guys out there carrying these that, that operate operating uh, like close quarters and all that they don't carry so much kit you know they're not living with the kit that they've got on their on their body um so the extra weight of this is not a problem plus you get what's called the hammer effect when you've got the extra weight behind the blade which uh, aids in the penetration all right but when you've got all the kit you might want something a little bit lighter and that's where the crf2 comes in now we we'll talk about the logo obviously most of my tech blades have got the let's see if we can get a little bit close on this you see that there we go most of my tech blades like well for like for this one for instance have the red path this one's got it on the spine because this is eight mil thick, but they either have it on the spine or the flats. Where as this one, there's the new owner. There's a chance of this uh, going into the let me say the, the the darker places of where you might need a knife. Okay, and the new owner sort of requested that the red path wasn't on it, so it kind of you know there's no sort of tie backs no paper trail if you know what i mean so uh he re originally requested no no logo at all but of course i've got to put a, a logo on my blade otherwise you know there's nothing to say it's mine and uh, there's uh no way for somebody not to, to claim that it's theirs or a picture or whatever um so what we've got there is we've got a tacked up version of the cherry blossom that you see on knives like this okay like on the bushcraft knives and the, the more classic designs so it's still the red path slash weber handmade 
but it's more subtle and not sort of immediately identifiable if you don't know who I am or, or my knives, okay? So there we go with the CRF2. Like I say, uh, a, a, a twist on the CRF1, both of them serving the same purpose, but with benefits in certain areas. So it depends on what you're doing, where you're going, how much you're carrying, and ultimately what you need the knife for. Now, again, this will be coming with the option of either the sheath or the uh, Spec Ops insert, okay, and a removal tab. So this will also fit the Spec Ops uh, short sheath. It sits a little bit lower because obviously the blade is, is a touch shorter. So the strap goes around this second chord as opposed to the first chord. But it will still, like I say, fit the Spec Ops sheath. So there you go, guys. That is the CRF2. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.